That's right. As usual, there's no pre-stream. We go straight <laughs> into it. There are no <laughs> breaks on this train, ever. Because <laughs> this isn't a train game, this is a truck game. <laughs> you thought this was a train game, I don't know what you were thinking. Choo-choo. Euro train simulator. I'm happy to be playing this again. Yeah, Simon had I... to go do real life stuff for a while. Yes, I had to be an adult. Why do you gotta do stuff like that? It's very it comes inconsiderate. With... Comes with the territory. Be <laughs> inconsiderate. Yeah. Okay, well, if you're gonna be mostly handling that noise. I'm gonna try to. I'm, first of all, this is Broken Power Station, right? I think so. It's been a couple days. I don't even know if we've streamed any of this map so far. We've been like, been so, we've all been like busy with stuff or having very short days. This is gonna be another short stream. I need to go to bed to get ready for work tomorrow. Okay, I just popped a tire and damaged half of my suspension. Good to know the game's running correctly. <laughs> well, for now, I'll... Let's see, okay, so... Let me look at the... The doodles. Try Simon, say something with you, please. Howdy. Okay. I was just making sure my audio was all right. I cranked up my my volume just a little bit on my game. Yeah, it's broken power station, and then after that one, there's going to be a new one that shows up. That is the second part, and that will unlock the garage for us. Meantime, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and do what I can. Yeah, my brain's so not firing right right now, chat. Stream chat. At stream. Yeah. Uh, I had a yeah, plan. I don't any part. I'm no. I dive bombed it immediately. Now I have to go back and start it up again. Yeah, I don't think any of our brains are quite working right tonight. Uh, speak for yourself, guys. Simon, your brain never works right. Well, then this is how good it works on as good as I can do. <laughs> So I'm at 100%. You want to try using English next time? It's okay. It under I understood it. That's all that matters. Well, at least someone understood it. Exactly. Where's my tank? Uh, did I get bumped all the way to the bottom? Oh my god, it did. Oh my god. So that's, that's why I can never find my cars when... We have shit like that last time happened where it just picked us all out. Huh? Whenever, whenever, you know, like the last time when, or the last time it happened where I was confused where the hell my fucking truck was and I was like, oh, it must be trapped in Moisen's game. No, it's because when you get DC'd from a game and you don't go back in and, you know, retain your truck immediately afterwards you just you just log out and go away the game will shove any trucks that you had in that instance all the way to the bottom of your list that's why i kept going to the bottom for me yeah it's fucking stupid and so literally because my list has in the garage has something like fucking 40 trucks in it <laughs> I had to scroll all the way down to find my Kega. Why does your mom let you have 40 trucks? <laughs> <laughs> no skins. Wait. 
Well, that handled that better than I expected. Well, I'm making good time. I'm already uh, close to the uh, map exit. Yeah. I should probably be there in about less than five minutes. I'm doing dangerous things as I usually do. You see, Chad, a smart person might actually go down the road like they're supposed to. I'm not going to do that. Because I don't know where the road crossing is. So I'd rather be stupid and go this way. That's our moisen. Yeah, they weren't... By the way, Chad, you weren't here for this last time, so Simon was trying to go up a hill... Oh. And get to a, shut up. Go up the <laughs> hill and get to a watchtower, and he legit spent about two hours trying to do that. And it was uh, very painful for him. And he's like, Moisen, I can't do this. You have to do this. And I'm like, okay, Simon. I'm a god. I guess I'll do it then. <laughs> and I legit did it the first try and just started asking, when's the hard part start, Simon? He just got mad at me. I'm not Abra. Listen, I have some wide ass vehicles. They got a big dump truck ass on them. They were having a real hard time getting through there. And so yet, have... who won in the end? The tiny Tatra, as it always does. Yes. I didn't have the TT. That's your main problem, you guys. You don't you don't bring out the tiny Tatra whenever you have a problem because that's the pr that's the problem solver. Echo learned that last time with his um whole deal with needing fuel. The tiny Tatra came and saved him and brought him fuel. I mean, I understand that it's a very powerful tool in your hands, but it doesn't seem as effective in mine. I did manage to rescue it, and then I proceeded to get it stranded. <laughs> well, overlooked that part. All right, I made it to the other zone. Going this way for a reason, I think. Yes, this section right here I think is even smaller. I want to go across here. Yeah. Damn, boys! Yes, you've you made some progress. Um, how the hell did you get down there? So, was it easiest just to go along the coast down there? Uh, how did I get down here? I went up to the bridge and I crossed over that scary fucking small little thing and drove all the way around. So, um, that place on the river down there, is that where you want me to go? Because I think that's where the car goes. There's dropped, two right? places you can cross the river. The right side where the broken bridge is and the left side where the ice is. Neither way is good. Well, I'm not asking that. I'm asking where's the, the dropped cargo location? Uh, uh, Eckle? You'll have to answer that. Was it the oh. wooden planks, Eckle? Uh, hold on. Asking where the dropped cargo is? Yes. Remember, we lo the game DC'd and you dropped oh. your cargo. Was it the wooden planks? I don't Sorry. know what's confusing. Sorry. 
Sorry, I had to sneeze. Oh, okay. Uh, so, let me see. We were driving along that road. I didn't get very far. Okay, so, Simon, are you looking at the Amandra map? Hold on. Let's see. Uh, I'm looking at the map. So, okay, do you see where his the Tatra 805 is? Yes. Now, above it, the road that's above there, that's going to the right, you see how it just kind of stops in the... Oh! The wooden planks that are just sitting in the middle of the road? Yeah, because it, it DC'd while I was driving. Alright, I so will... It's somewhere on that road. I will make my way to those wooden planks there, and uh, I will come pick them up. I'd recommend coming from the north side, but that's just me, because coming from the south, you have to come up a big hill, and it's annoying, and it's easier to come from the north end, I think. So, it's come up... It's a longer up. trip, but it's easier, I think. Okay, so come up to the pass on the right-hand side, come up down to the north, and then make my way down. Okay. I think Got it. That's up to you, though. You'll have to decide. It would be more direct with the left route, but that's the way Eckle took, and it was very rough. But he had to take that route because he had the twin steer. Yeah, that thing. It's both good because it's nice and big and capable, and it's also terrible because it's nice and big and capable. Please, yeah. God? Uh oh. Are you okay? Uh, barely. Yeah, for you, the tiny Tatra is your, you know, use in every situation. It's great. It'll do the job vehicle. For me, the Tega is kind of shaping up to be that. For me, whenever I use the tiny Tatra, I don't know, like, it just glides across mud and snow like no one's business, it feels like. You never seem to fucking drive it right. I always just end up flipping. I still think the problem with you for for you flipping is the roof rack. I mean, I can try going without it one time, but like, I don't know if that little is causing that much issue. I don't know, man. That kind of kind of seems a little bit fucky wucky. I don't. I never need the repairs, really. I very rarely do. But I, it's a it's a dual thing of when you start flipping. That provides, like, because it's a high-up piece of equipment with fuel and tires and repair equipment, it's heavy up there. That's that's a good bit of weight on the very topmost part of your vehicle. It's like that's the highest point. So that it helps with tipping, and also the flat surface of it means if you flip over on your back, you're more likely to stay there because it's got a nice big flat surface area where the tiny Tatra, like, base has a very small curved roof. Yeah, it's not that there isn't logic to it, but it's just... Jeez. Ow. Despite being top-heavy and a gas guzzler, I'd love the bandit, though. There we go. Oh, damn it. Oh, I should have turned I off there. I didn't know. Oh, okay. Also, yeah, I still think that the roof thing is a military version for a machine gun mount. Did you find confirmation of that? I've only seen it on military and public service vehicles. That's... that... that those are two totally different things. No, but they're both owned by the government. They're not on civilian models. And also, that's not at all unheard of where um, they'll have, like, 
public service vehicles that'll pull double duty from military in case of war. That is very much not uncommon. Well, if there's anybody who knows about war and things that have to do with war, it'd be you. Because I'm an orc? Well, it'd be Moisen and that guy who, uh, who, you know, leaked government documents on fucking War Thunder or whatever. Yeah. I really don't appreciate how the game will just suddenly decide, yeah, you're tired, it's dead now. Well, it's got 50 points. Once it hits 50 points, it's dead. It's not my point. I'm saying that it, like, I shouldn't just be driving along normally and having fun and grand old time and then suddenly 20 points gone. Hey! One less problem to deal with, brothers. Again, I'm just trying to clear out what's here since, you know, I seem to have a bit of bad luck with trying to go over there. What is this? Really? I guess I have to drive over here. Okay, what about some luck today? doing that yet. Maybe you don't like the right there, I'm stupid. No, but yeah, uh, I was told by someone the other day, Hey Moisen, you can apply for partner or whatever. And What's I almost that? can. What do you mean apply for partner? Uh, we, like, you were there for the conversation. On Twitch. Um, oh, that's the thing where you can like get a sponsor thingy, right? I don't really understand what what partner is. Well, one of the most important things, in my mind at least, about being a Twitch partner, is it means that he has better access to uh, what's it called? It's it's like the encoding or something. The thing that makes it to where the fucking site will actually allow for multiple qualities of your stream to be stored. Instead. No, I'm not. It's not that level. I think that's the higher level where it's a proper partner. I'm like the. Like, it's like, oh, that's the first level where you can, like... The main... The, re the reason I'd want to do it isn't for ad revenue or anything like that. I don't... I think you can get, like, that's where you can start getting uh, people subscribing to your channel. No, I'd want to do it just because being partnered or being part of the partner program makes it more likely for people to be shown your streams. Yeah. Like, that's the main thing for me is just it increases visibility a lot. And I do mean a lot. Like, without having partner bullshit, you are very unlikely to be shown on the front page to someone based on, like, oh, you would be interested in this kind of streamer kind of stuff. But if you have that, you'll be thrown into, the, like, the metrics, finally. Al Algae rhythm! Listen here, motherfucker. <laughs> Space Jam 2 is over. We watched the movie. It was bad. I don't need to be reminded about algae rhythm. <laughs> what about Big Chungus among us? I still love I our friend. Know. Just like, if Big Chungus is in this movie, I'm leaving. Big Chungus happens. Bloop, please. <laughs> He hated that movie. Like, he was mad when he left. He fucking... He left twice, and the second time he didn't come back. Do you blame him? <laughs> Mildly. I do wish he stuck around for the end, though. So we could feel the pain with the rest of us as the 
amazingly overdone yet somehow boring basketball segment played out. I still don't understand how you can spend that much budget on something and make it look that bad and be that boring. I don't either. Like, you could have done more with less is the weirdest part to me still. What I also, well, I think the thing that I, I hated the most is just how flashy everything was. Yeah, like, it's part of my complaint. It's just like it, it just, it just blurred together. There were so many effects that it just became boring. And the frantic editing did not help. There's, there's a thing I don't remember what it's called, but it's like when enough stuff becomes like flashy and bright colored, you just become numb to it entirely. I I felt that entirely. Because that happens in advertising a lot, where they'll be like, we're going to do this big flashy ad campaign with a bunch of special effects, and then it just falls flat because at a certain point it just becomes boring. It was definitely boring. Or what, what uh, like that movie, like, a, it's not a great example, but I think like that movie Sucker Punch. You guys remember that at all? Yeah. I yeah, that movie was full of ton of special effects. It had like a bunch of like, bunch of like visual effects going on all the time, but it was just boring. I'm 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 gonna refrain from saying anything because that's one of my wife's favorite movies. <laughs> I'm sorry, your wife has bad taste. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I saw it. I was I was not that impressed. The for, funny thing for like that kind of, it's not the I know it's not the same thing. I know it's not the same kind of world, but I, I just have a feeling of, like, similarity between them. I feel like the movie, uh, what was it called again? Uh, The Mutant Chronicles, maybe? It was a very cheap thing with, um, Ron Perlman as one of the lead actors in there. And they're like, it's like this weird future core top corptocracy in World War One situation. Very low budget film. Had a lot of good CG in it though for for its budget. And like in the middle of the war zone they uncover an ancient machine from a time long past and like weird zombie creatures that like run from a machine come out and start capturing soldiers from the battlefield. And it starts a worldwide exodus where people are trying to flee to like Mars and the moon. Cool. I think we should watch that sometime, friends, because it's uh, very old, very cheap, but very good. I remember liking it a lot. I wish that there was more lore to it, because I was very interested in the lore. Yeah, as far as special effects things go, I think the biggest key thing is contrast. You know, a big flashy thing can look much more appealing and catch your attention more if the rest of the movie was not big and flashy. But yes. when the whole movie big and flashy, it doesn't stand out. It's called subtlety. I don't even know if that's true. It's just... It, it's just, I don't know, taste, tact, having a mild creative vision. Say what you will about the old Space Jam movie, at least it had a very distinct visual style to it. And I liked the little aliens. At least they were more memorable. Oh, but they were in Space Jam too, don't you remember? Oh, you mean the exact same frames that they took from the original and they just copy and pasted it into this movie? Wasn't yeah. even new frames. Yeah. God, that, that just, that's just making me angry now. Consumer, did you not enjoy the reference to previous entry in the series? The whole movie was a reference. All it was. That's all. The whole freaking movie was nothing but a giant reference. It's like a corporate version of 
those those fucking quote unquote fan made films you'll sometimes see on like YouTube where they'll make where they'll make a film that's supposed to be you know oh haha it's it's a Star Wars thing but did did it but it's just full of memes and shit. It's like a corporate version of that. I'm gonna throw myself out there uh, under the bus, but all I can think of when you say that is Double Rainboom, that MLP, like, fan episode thing they were trying to make, that they made, that uh, was terrible. It wasn't great. No, the main, know, the main thing for that was, it was like, oh, it's gonna be a whole MLP thing. I was like, cool. And then it's like, no, actually, it's just Powerpuff Girls. That, that just felt bad. I love that the creator of that got, like, the, the be, like, like the, the main, like, producer. I forget what his, his title was. He didn't do, like, much actual work, but he was producer on it. They did that. Like, a year later, they got, like, a proper job by using that as their credits. And then just deleted the movie. And just pretended <laughs> it never happened. They just <laughs> used other people to get their fucking shit off the ground. I entirely think that was a scam, just for them to start their career in, like, directing animation. That's terrible, oh, though. It's pretty scummy, I'm not gonna lie. Again, it, yeah. it, that's just my opinion. I don't know if Echol has a- Echol, do you have a different one? Uh -oh. That sounds pretty valid to me. Then he went on to work on some fucking... Spanish children's television show, I think. Is it just me, or do I hear voices in this base? Oh my god, first it was the eyes, then it was the cuckoos. What, I even don't know what it all is, now it's fucking voices. Maybe you're just hearing, or finally hearing, the whales that I heard. Oh, everyone I'm hit with is crazy. Light. I remain the only sane person in this fucking company. That's why you people are so cheap, because no one wants to hear you whine about the eyes in the woods and the whales. <laughs> there are Moisen, no whales Moisen, in Russia. Moisen takes his medications, Ackel and Simon Van. <laughs> his medications. <laughs> it takes multiple ones. Many. <laughs> Why Simon <laughs> Echo Vanish? Yeah, I'm not my, I'm not my, that. my my friend who's a lizard is gone. <laughs> I gotta tell you no. I'm not I'm not gonna trust that at all. He's like I have a friend who's a lizard and another one who's a goblin. <laughs> I have a goblin and lizard friend. <laughs> they talk to me all the time, and they're nice and friendly. <laughs> all right. Can you prove yourself? My fucking fuel tank's doing the thing again, but now it's doing it in reverse, where it's removing fuel that I put into it. <laughs> That's bad. Oh, I guess that's our penance. It, well, that, no, no, what this means is I have infinite fuel because it always just resets to the same levels. Just flash in the back there. You know what really annoys me about the, the random damage to the trucks? Is it would be one thing if it was consistent. If I, like, you know, went full speed over a bunch of fucking rocks and every time it would damage my truck, that would be one thing. But there are times where I'm going full speed over the rocks, bouncing all over the place, and it does nothing. Sometimes it do be like that, Goblin. Sometimes. I mean, you can't say it's always bad bad driving. 
I never said it was at all. I'm saying it's random bullshit, and that is, in fact, bullshit. Let's see. I think this is uh, about the right time in the stream for me to unroll the sponsor reel. <laughs> so, Echo, would you like to uh, take yourself over to my stream real quick to see the sponsor advertisement real quick? Oh, God. Oh. Simon, would you as well? Um... I have to find your stream. Uh, up here it is. It literally, if you click my Discord name, it'll say I'm streaming. Uh, I see you. I see you up. I see your stream. Okay, just give me one second as I get through this hell. Because I'm tipping. I'm tipping. I don't like tipping. Stop tipping. Please stop tipping. Please stop tipping. Ah. Uh, oh. Oof. 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 Maybe you should sway your weight. I think it's more because there's a giant lump in the road. Oh. Come on, I I, I want to get I want to get through here first before I go on my ad break. My sponsors won't be happy if I if I tip over during during it. <laughs> this was a bad time to mention my sponsorship. Oh, oh. <laughs> Come by brand. What the fuck? Oh, 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 oh. Well, as uh, I sit uh, here having failed, it's time for the sponsor break. So, welcome to the sponsor <laughs> section of the stream. I'd like you to know that the Anti Duck Alliance has been sponsored by pudding. <laughs> so if you you know if you ever need some pudding, remember if you every dollar as you see on the bottom left with this money we can stop ducks. Every every dollar of pudding you spend will give me a dollar, and then if we get ten thousand dollars, we can finally end the threat of ducks. I just want everyone to know that you know just just it's a know, charity organization. It's a charity organization, though all the money does go into my personal bank account. Anyway, back to stream. <laughs> And did you see this truck? It fell over because of ducks. Yeah, it did. It did because of ducks. We already knew that, though. <laughs> over and off ducks. <laughs> they were under the. They were under the truck. <laughs> over. <laughs> see, I shouldn't be allowed by Streamlabs to uh, use. Uh, that kind of overlay stuff because I will abuse it. <laughs> I do need to make like some fake logos of stuff. I want to make like uh, some fucking fake logos for near to brand things, but hey, not can really. Your, can I have your help, Moisen? What do you need? Can you uh, come over to the Warhog over here by me? I need a little bit of help. Let me first oh, tip my oh. truck over first. Yeah, that might be a little bit. Uh, then I would require Goblin help. I'm in the other map. What do you want me to do? Everybody hates Simon. Well, at least he's finally It'd learning. Just, it would take me just as long to get over there to help as it will take Moisen to un fuck his situation and then go over. Hopefully it won't take me long to unfuck myself. Noticed as well that it's actually significantly easier. Oop, come on. To see the uh, roads when you turn off your lights. No. To oh. see the the fucking um, 
Okay, first of all, Simon, help me first. Jump in my jump in my uh, bandit, so you can winch. Um. All right. Let me see. There's bandit. All right, Echo. What are you trying to use your words for? I I'm in your grave. I was just saying that it seems to be easier to see the ice that cracks and gives you problems at night. Because it almost fucking glows. Alright. Alright, now I can come help you, Simon. Just turn off All my right. engine. It's off. So what have you done over here now? Because there's like three trucks stacked up in a pile. I need I need help getting the big boy out, and I was gonna use the I fixed up the war the war hog over there so war. that it's work. The, it, war it, it, hog. Just go to the war hog. Go to war hog, and I'll winch. You keep saying war hog. It sounds cooler. I really wonder if this is like a bug. That, that like came in a recent patch because I don't remember it being this easy to tow when you're in like the other truck but you guys um I don't know it 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 it, it honestly should just take whatever's the strongest vehicle and go from there no I mean like it, there there is no force like okay when I'm pulling on your winch you're not being pulled back at all it's like you're not even feeling any tension on there that's what I mean Oh, okay. Well, I'm fine with it. Thank no, I'm, you fine, for I'm fine with it. I'm just saying I wonder if it's like a recent bug, because I don't remember it being that easy, or maybe it's always been that easy, and we just didn't know. It's possible. We, we are very stupid. Yes, we are. Yes, I am. Ham. Hum... Ham. Ham. Ham! Plop the Pickle. ham thusly. Pickle surprise. Pickle surprise! God, we're old. I, You know what's bad? When you watch that and people that are young see that and they're like, Where's this from? I don't ever remember seeing this before. Meanwhile, me and you just kind of like saw that in our early years. We're scarred by it. Helium! It's a strawberry shortcut. Has Eccles seen that video? I go, no. Oh. We're old, boys. And... I think that one's more about just not being at the right time and place. There is no time and place. It was on YouTube. It's the internet, Eccles. The, the ad was, like, from the 80s, from, like, a local fucking, like, California thing, I think. Yeah, I, I can imagine California putting that together. Now, hold on. This is important. Was it something that was shared around, or was it an ad that played on YouTube? No, it was ne it never played on YouTube. This it I was... mean, like, it was an ad from the 80s that was put on YouTube and that got popular on YouTube. It was a, a meme before memes were a thing. No, it was an it was an early meme. But we didn't call them memes back then. If you, I, I want to tell you something, boys, and this is very embarrassing on my behalf, but I don't care because I think it make great stream content for you to make fun of me. Uh oh. But, but um, when I was much younger, in my uh my teen years, actually no, I wouldn't say teen, probably my early twenties, I did not call memes memes what'd you call them what would you like to guess first memes. no oh would you like to guess Ackle? i already guessed once but i'll guess again um beams beams yes because that's how i put m-e-m-e -E -E in my mind no i i call Me? them i call them memes oh yeah <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, that's what everyone used to call them for the joke. No, I wasn't joking. Uh, yes, we get that, but we're saying that it's not unheard of. Yeah, I mean, like, I... Oh God, actually, you know what I think about it? I haven't heard people saying memes in a long time. Well, the reason why I called it mem was because a lot of the ones back a long time ago were, like, cool, funny memories that people had, 
on the internet and such, so it was like, oh, mem, like memories. There's a logic to that. Thanks for all the memories, Fallout Boy. I'm still surprised that the banana splits thing was made. The song was like made by Fallout Boy, but again, at the end, it makes sense. Yeah. Because especially that we killed so many people at the end of the um, the theme song, that's him. Like the main singer dude, it's gotta be. Which would explain why I liked it. It's All I can think of with Fallout Boy at this point is that fucking Bionicle commercial. God, all I could think, whenever I think of Fallout Boy, I I don't even know if they're they're probably still around, but I just think of them like a, a late two thousands band, which makes sense. They probably that was when they're like were most popular. Okay, well, I guess those trees are used. Kind of like how Green Day was popular in the early two thousands. They died, but they're like they're still really around. Important. Aren't they? And Thanks, then they pal. died, and it was really unfortunate. And, you know, then there are corpses, and the corpses inhabited by ghosts of corporate shells were puppeted around on that E3 stage. Oh, of course. Money. I liked Moisen's ad, by the way. <laughs> my what? Your ad that you did. Oh, you like my pudding ad? Yeah, I got paid a lot of money for that. Five whole dollars. How come you didn't get Bill Cosby to uh, do no. the voiceover? <laughs> God. I still remember, speaking of Bill Cosby and pudding, I still remember the Bill Cosby pudding video game from the early aughts, an old Flash game. You remember that, Simon? Now, even that is obscure to me. It was a video, it was a little flash game where you played as Bill Cosby, who lived in a oh, cave, no. and you'd use oh, no. pudding cups to lure people to your cave, where you'd hit him with a camera to kill them and then bury their bodies. And the goal was to get as many bodies in your Cosby hole uh, before the <laughs> cops could find you. Oh... That must sell for a lot of money nowadays. It was uh, sell for money? A flash game that was free on the internet. Oh, flash! I oh, missed no, the first NFT. Year. No, you thought it was a real video game. Yes, they wouldn't be hit with a thousand lawsuits at <laughs> all. <laughs> God, I think it was just like called the the Cosby Pudding Game or something. Because that was like, you know, we had, we had no creation in the early 2000s. It was just like, call the game what it is. Well, I mean... Like I'd stick man the, defense. I'd rather the creativity and stuff go into the actual game than, you know... Doing good. Also, uh, I think you asked before, last time, Simon, we weren't streaming. I think you asked about the metal detector, right? Yeah. Uh, the metal detectors are from the BA-20s. The what? The BA-20s hidden in the lake. The hell's a BA-20? BA-20 is an armored car from World War II. Maybe we should do that mission when I get this garage unlocked. I'm help coming to help still! Did you get those wooden planks yet? I'm going up the right side of the map. Like okay. you said. Okay, good. Once you get those, we'll find out where they have to go to. Don't fall. Fuck, I may need to refuel. Shift? Game? Shift? Sometimes the shift is not that intuitive in this game. Sometimes the shift doesn't work, yeah. It depends if your mouse is like in the bottom corner. It'll be like, no, I'm not going to shift now, though. Why isn't I dropped by cricket? Grim kit. 
Crimpkit. Yeah, you gotta use the right words. I dropped my Crimpkit. Do I need to come help you again? Yes. Simon, I do believe this was a bad mistake to bring this vehicle. This is the best vehicle for this type of I've had to rescue it twice and you've gone like two miles. <laughs> Just get in my grave. Winch on me. You see, like, you're barely moving, but this thing weighs a fucking ton. Back up. I got stuck. You want me to back up? Back up. Come on. I'm telling your bitch, bitch ass truck to back up. Oh. Stop backing Moisen, up. Moisen doesn't like my big truck. I don't because it's fallen over twice. It's a big boy! <laughs> it just it's... slides! What have you put on the tires? These these are the bit these are the best tires you can get for it. Whoops. Come on, Moisen. Yeah, you, this is exactly what happened to me, actually. You can't even call this one on me. I can because it's your truck. That's a good boy. It's a strong boy. It's a strong just... boy that gets caught and flips over. Listen. <laughs> we've all read the story of mice and men. And that one boy was real strong. But he wasn't the smartest boy. You're talking about G David and Goliath. That is, doesn't that have a different moral? Yes, the moral is the small one's better. <laughs> That's why you should have brought the tiny Tatra. E.T. You have to admit, that thing does a good job on the snow, though. My tiny Tatra would glide over this like no one's business. Uh, hey, Echo, um, what are those pillows called that, you know, weebs have? Body pillows? That, yeah, I think Walk I'm gonna right? get... I think I'm gonna get you a, a Dakimatra. Is that what you call it? Dakimatra! <laughs> Dakimakura. <laughs> Whatever. Dakimakura. Ah, Dakimatra. The Macarena. The Alright. So, Moisen, I'm gonna get you the Macarena, and it's gonna have the tiny tatch on it. What? You, you buy covers for them, Simon. Oh, Unless you're disgusting. God. What? Oh, oh god. The tires on the vehicle. Oh, thank god they corrected themselves. They were like slanted at like more than, I'd say like a 50 degree angle. Good job. No, Simon, you, you don't buy Dakimakutas. Like, you gotta buy like covers for them. Well, technically, you know, the pillow is still called a Dakimakuta. Yeah, I know, I know, but like, he's like buy a Dakimakura with the with the tiny Tatron. No, you buy a cover to go on the Dakimakura. But the important thing is that would probably take a lot of money to get custom printed. I don't think it would cost too much. Listen, there's more expensive things out there that I've tried to get commissioned than that. I know this is going to sound... You mean that this isn't going to be expensive? Listen, I have tried to get a custom music box, and they are expensive. Of course Highly. they are. I could have told you that. Yeah, because I was trying to get... Um, you know, I'm not like a big... I'm not a huge... Undertale fan, but I am a decent Undertale fan. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. Don't fall. I work it. Jeez. But I've always wanted it. There's like one song in the game that I really like, and I've always wanted to have like. You know, I've, I've actually wanted to have like a. Uh, the one with the rain puzzle. I mean, it's just called... I think it's just called His Theme. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Rain Puzzle one. You know that there was a, um, a special edition release of it that has a locket? Locket? Is that the right word? It's cheap quality. It's... I saw... It was cheap quality. I didn't want that. That's cool. I'm... I own it. It's not. 
No, like... I wanted to have a full brass one, I hope. Okay, well, look. Look. I'm not gonna act like the fucking thing is something you'd pick up from a fucking specialty shop in Germany. But, <laughs> like... Come on, man. You're sitting here saying, I'm not that big of a fan, but I'm big enough of a fan that I don't want the moderate one. I want a brass one specifically. No, so I can I can, uh, I can, understand that. Like, if we're going to go to the Funko Pop discussion again, just because you're not a big fan doesn't mean you want to buy the Funko Pop. I mean, I just... I, it's It all comes down to, like, quality for me, Echo. I'm a very big quality person. Quality. It also comes with the, the whole nice case for the Switch. For and speaking and of Switch things, I really hope the uh, the Steam like handheld console thing is cool. Because I'd like Steam to get one. Yeah. I'd also like to get one, but I'm poor. I dropped my crimp gig. But this time... You don't need to come help me, because I'm just going to take the other vehicle. You can just lay and rest. It's dead now. It was actually struggling to get up this hill here, because it doesn't have uh, proper ice tires. So, Yee. goodbye! Yee. Goodbye! Goodbye, have a beautiful time. Have a good God, time. The, the yard just flew up the, this hill. No trouble at all. I like the yard. Have you tried it out yet, Moisen? I got stuck a lot in it. Oh. See, yeah. He, he is able to drive the Tatra very well. We're not that great at it. We're See, more the, able to drive the Yar, but he sucks at that. The Tatra's good because it's very narrow. And like Moisen says, it is usually pretty good at, like, you know, not getting stuck. Like rolling over and such. Those are words. Damn it, I'm going to need to fucking do another fuel recovery. Um, I'm available, Moisey. Do you want to come give you fuel? I got my tiny attacher. I'm just going to go use the tiny attacher to go over there. I'm useless. You'll, you'd have to go pretty far to get to my thing across bad terrain. I'm going to go through the forest instead. Since the tiny Tatras, of course, like you said, narrow. It can go where other trucks can't to deliver fuel where it's needed. It does what Nintendo don't. Simon, I'd fell over. Help me. <laughs> Coming. <laughs> I want there's, to rat. There's, there's some irony in here. I'm coming, brother. Oh god, this this rocky outcrop. I fucking hate this every time. Oh, this is where your bandit had a problem. Yeah. Also, I'd like to mention, like, we had a discussion about this last time. The the bandit and other trucks, they tend to fucking their engines conk out really easily, but the Tatra can be like almost it's entirely on its side and it'll be fine. Yeah, and my big Arctic boy was practically on its side earlier too, but we were still able to turn it on. Like some are some are a little bit more sensitive than, than others. Yeah, and it's it's completely just it's it's uh completely unpredictable as to which ones are gonna be like that. It's all down to experimentation, Echo. Which is stupid and dumb. Can you give me gas when I come there, Moise? Yes. No. Give him gas cricket. Grass, <laughs> gas cricket. Oh no, he'll drop his gas cricket. Boom. I'm sad now. Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh. Okay. Helicopter. I'm here, brother. Can I get to that? Ooh. 
The thing is, my engine worked. I just didn't have a winch point. I hate when that happens. It's gonna follow me now, is that it? Yes! Fine. <laughs> you completely forgot the gas. No, I just hoped you'd forgotten. <laughs> he hates me. Thank you. But yeah, well, oh, I, meant, I meant to finish what I was saying earlier. So Echo, what I need to do to, to like get to the basic, basic bitch partner thing is I need to have three concurrent viewers. That's a monumental task for me. I fulfill every other thing. I just need more viewers. So you know, if you know, you know, tell your friends, tell your wives, tell your husbands, tell your children. Maybe don't tell your grandmothers. Hide your kids, hide your wife. Yeah, from Moisen. Moisen streams are they're they're, they're they're not they're not applicable for any age. <laughs> I've gotten many complaints from the FCC. Only them? No. <laughs> okay, I may have been got, sued by the government. He's also gotten complaints from Peanut. Yes, animal that, that, abuse for Lucy. It does not take much to make Peta angry. Have a pet parakeet in your house? You're abusing it. Like, I think they even think that owning animals is terrible. Like, if you have a pet, you're a horrible human being. I will admit, though, pugs should not exist. Pugs are a terrible breed of dog. They're designed and built to suffer. Yes. <laughs> they were literally made by humans to suffer. I remember a point where joking about PETA was actually a funny thing, and then now it's not. Eh? As in, like, you know, hey, in League, haha, ha Udyr has a joke where he's like, hey, ha ha ha, don't, you know, if PETA asks, this fur is fake, ha ha ha. But now it's just like, no, no one makes that kind of joke anymore. Well, they're insane. Yeah, that's I, why. It's, it's, I, not, I, it's not funny anymore. Stop being funny once they started fucking pulling their insane bullshit. He has been doing that for 20 years, brother. Well, no, I mean, it got worse. And they're not a very good org. I, I hesitate to call them an organization at all. I mean, they're they're an organization. As much as you may not like them, they're an organization. They I'd have tax exempt status. Instead of supporting PETA, support pudding. Every dollar from your purchase will go into where where are my fucking spinning icons? They're not there anymore. God damn it, I gotta reset them. I think I gotta reset them every once in a while. It gets mad if I don't do that. Fuck. Do you have it set to uh let's see, what's the thing? It's um like pause playback when not looked at or something. No, that's not even the thing. That's not even um it's not a fucking video, it's just a web browser address that should be playing it constantly, but it isn't. 
web browser address? Yeah. The URL. I, I get that, but like, do you just have an image on Discord or? No, no, no. That's how Streamlabs does it. You, they give you a, a, a web link to put into a browser image source in OBS. That's what they do for everything, like the the subscription, notification, follow notifications. All that stuff is just a direct link to, like, a specific, like, web page that hosts for your thing on Streamlabs servers. That pops up your notifications, huh? I wonder why they do it that way. Because uh, it's universal, easy to do, and also makes yeah. the most sense. Doesn't make the most sense to me, but... Uh... Well, how, okay, how, how, how else would they track um, people rating you or subscribing? And how would they know when to fire unless it was piped in from a server? Well, I just look at it as it's something that you wouldn't need to have the actual assets be set up that way. Just have them fucking, I don't know, stored locally, I don't know. No, you no you you can have them stored locally, but no, Echo, they're your upload. It's like a video on YouTube. You have to upload the image, and then it grabs. Simon, you gotta come help me. I got distracted talking to Echo, and I ran into the fucking ice. Okay, I'll be right there. I just gonna scan this zone while I'm here. Good, you're actually pretty close. Like. Scanning. Echo, it would not work any other way because you have to have it so you can know when a user follows, subscribes, or does anything else. Which Twitch, uh, Streamlabs has, has a thing that ties into Twitch that scans your account for that activity, and and then it has to play the video or the this music, well, video music effects, all that stuff whenever it happens. So it has to be tied in via the internet. I don't know, it just feels kind of cumbersome. There's no other way to do it. Unless you manually fired them off. But then you couldn't have custom messages like X person just followed. So I'm mean, just leave the trailer there. Well, I wanted to scan the area that you're in as well. You're going to have a bad time, brother. Is it that bad up there? <laughs> it goes through a swamp. Please just leave it there. I'll give you more fuel and you can come back and grab the trailer. All plus, right. I see, I, plus I see you struggling to try and turn around with it. It is not very mobile. By the third time I saw you backing up and trying to turn, I'm like, no. Hates me. I hate having to explain things to users. You you oh. don't have to explain anything to me. Don't call me a user. No, That's I'm talking about Echo when I because yeah. I rammed into the thing because I was talking to him okay. and confused why he oh, didn't understand. I love why you got really offended by being called a user, but you you got Moisen casually called me that, and it's like, oh, okay. Yes, Echo, you you are a user, Echo. Yes, yeah. Simon that did what I said. Hold on. Less offensive. Simon did, is what I said. Did it make sense? Uh earlier about the how how in order for Streamlabs to play the things at the right time it has to be hooked into the web. Yeah, it makes sense. That's the thing, Echo. It's because like Simon's a tech person as well. In web at all. I'm just saying that having to store the assets specifically on their servers just seems like a weird thing. But how else would you play it though? It has to be stored somewhere. I know, I, I get that it has to be stored somewhere, but it's just, it means that they have to account for everything that's uploaded there, and if, like, for some reason some asshole has their, their follower subscription as a fucking, like, 8K video, I don't know, it's just... Well, an 8K video? No, they have restrictions on what's uploaded. And they wouldn't need to have as many restrictions if it wasn't fucking locally stored on their shit. Yeah, but how would they transfer it though? You would just you would just provide the link, and if it doesn't work, it's on you. You can provide a URL to like link to the thing online, but it doesn't matter. They still have to grab the image or the video to use it. So let's say you have an image uploaded somewhere on like Discord, and you do the like copy link thing. 
Would you be able to have it fucking grab that? I uh, probably, because you can create a direct image link to it. And does it still have the restrictions even if it's linking offside like that? Yeah, because it's got to have a certain size to it. It can't be too big. No. It's like a profile picture. You can't make a profile picture beyond a certain point, usually. Usually they have pixel requirements, like, okay, it can only be like 256 by 256 by like 256 pixels for a profile picture. And it has to be in PNG format. With all the, all the back and forth format and site location and so and so nonsense. Like... That fucking sticker thing on Discord is nightmarish. Yeah, that but that's the same this exact same thing with like using the other things. So yeah, you okay. just wanna you just wanna pop down onto this ice Simon and try and watch out for the bad spots. Boop boop stinky. I'll stick to the uh the coast. Yeah, that'll work. But yeah, that's what I mean about user though, Echo, because Simon understands. He's like, oh yeah, I get what you mean, Moisen. You're just like, I don't get why you have to do it that way. That's just like how no, the internet I get works. Why? From an actual, just straight up why, I get why. I just wish it wasn't that way. But there's no other way to do it. That, that's just, uh, that's just your opinion. Probably. That's just not my opinion. Okay, so you want to have a system where you want to have allow people to use videos, images, and files that are tied to your service that they can't, like, verify at all, and that they come from your computer that you then, like, every single time a notification happens, you stream it to their servers that then streams back to your computer via a plugin in the streaming software. There you go, Moisen. Thank you. Do you want to just You're follow welcome. me the rest of the way? Sure thing, brother. I haven't got... I actually haven't got to hang out with you in, the, in the many levels recently, so I'm kind of happy to do that. Whee! Oh, oh, come on. Really? Okay. Sure I have something I can load this on to. Oh. I'm gonna actually remember this time to fucking refuel my repair supplies. So, you need any help or anything, Moisen? If they just come along with me. Okay. You're up there. You, uh, are you doing okay up there? Never. <laughs> oh, he's suffering. Game? Oh, Jesus! Oh, Lord! Oh, Lordy! And so uh, I'm glad oh. you stuck, stuck around. I bumped a tree and bounced up. Just turn left and help me pull over. Ooh, oh. Alright, um. Just from right there, just grab my center. You want to grab with the, the back or my center as well? My center. My center to your center, alright. <sighs> hey, bro, you got a follower. Oh, no, Holy yeah. Fawn 2 is following. Oh, Moisen's getting followers. He needs more concurrent viewers. There you go, Moisen. I need more concurrent viewers. Okay, you gotta pull up further. The weird thing is the viewer count didn't increase. I think they're fake. Oh, oh no, it's a bot. It's a free follow is what I hear. Ah, <laughs> oh, pull my front. All right, let me just get up here then. Why are you pulling up? So I can get to your front. Right? Okay. 
Or did you want me to be at this angle for you to get your the front of your vehicle? Just do whatever you gotta do. He hates me. There you go. Got it? <laughs> He's suffering. Let me just come up here. I'm gonna pull you out. We also have the tiny Tatra as well. I really don't know what you're trying to do. I'm gonna get you from the front and pull you out. There you go. Pull, brother! That's actually pretty straightforward. Pull. Go to truck. Go to truck. Oh my god. Go to the bandit. Alright. There. Let's... Gotcha. Alright, I'm winched onto you. Yeah, you took a bad way to come up here. This is the only way to come up here. I'm stuck. You gotta back up. All right. Don't, here we don't, go. no, don't release. Just back up. Oh, okay. What? Um. Um. Vehicle? My engine on? Put your, put your car in. That's forward. going this is a tight spot though they go further the worst the worst part the worst part is there's two ah oh you, no what time is it it is 10:45 The weird part is that was just Simon. Yeah. Uh. Did I just like up and vanish in front of you, Moisem? Yeah, you just disappeared. Are you still on? Are you in the main menu? Yeah, I'm in the main menu. Invite Simon to game. Why is this game so unstable? Oh no, Holy Fawn Two says they are real. Fuck. <laughs> We have a real person. Oh no! Quick, stop the stream. No fucking. <laughs> why the? Yeah, this game. It's good when it works. Is it just me? That's the real question. Is it just like my internet, or is this just a universal problem? Well, and also the thing I'd remind you of from earlier today. Why is it that we can't seem to get Uno working, but everybody else can? Yeah, we cannot get Uno working for shit. Because Simon, did none of those come through? Restart your game if not. Oh. Exiting game. That's another thing, too, is that notifications, when you drop, it's like, oh yeah, uh, you can no longer uh, get notifications for joining games if you drop. So it's like, it's gotta be the game. I'm guessing. The menu. I'm in the main menu. Are any of those going through? Just waiting for the invite. I'm trying invites. Oh. oh. Hey, Just maybe you should out. invite one of the people you banded in the past. Banded. Banded. I'm gonna ban this person. Snow running works just fine. Xbox One. We're not playing Xbox One. I don't own that console. Did none of them go through? No. Echo, uh, any of your trucks in spots you care about? Yeah, I'm gonna go grab. No, boys, and don't make Echo suffer. It's I too feel late for that. I'm feeling like he's gonna DC soon, and I feel like it's not gonna let me invite you back in until I restart my game. Yeah, me washing Echo. That one. Do I have any? Simon, getting any of these? I'm spamming it. 
That's a negatory. Okay, all my all my trucks are collected. Okay, I'm gonna restart my game then. I'm just more confused why it's doing this. It really it does. Hate... I'm gonna restart mine too, just in case. The thing is, it doesn't crash. It DCs, and that's the problem. It's just like, hey, network, what's that? Why? You know what I really wish it would do is, is that if it was having some sort of a network issue, it would say, oh, we're having issues. You know, and then it would, like, say, like, a countdown for, like, 45 seconds or something. If it, I, st I really do not understand what it could be. It's so weird. Okay, Simon, you're in the main menu? Yes, I am. Okay. Tell me when you get one. Are you not getting him? Let me exit the game a second time. Echo, are you Hello? in the main menu? I am, yes. Any of them coming through for you? It for me. Loading game. Wait for oh, me. that's weird. Uh, I accepted it, but it I'm still just sitting in the main menu. Um, send me another one, but only send one. I'm back. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Okay, I'm going to exit the game and hop back in, and then this time I want you to just send one. Simon, did he come through? Not yet. Are we, uh, are we just not allowed to play tonight? Let me, let me do what I did last time. I remember last time I actually restart my whole computer, and that fixed it for some reason. Yeah, well, Moisen and I don't have that option. Yeah, hold on, hold on, yeah. Just, did, did any come through now? Did you exit out of the game? Yeah, I exit out of the game. Oh, I'll launch the game back again. Fuck, I'm gonna launch it. I'm gonna relaunch my game again as well. We're all gonna relaunch our game like three times. <laughs> you know what? As we're waiting, have I told you about my sponsor? <laughs> pudding. <laughs> if you purchase pudding today, every dollar of your purchase goes towards fighting ducks. Every single dollar of your purchase goes towards it. Purchase pudding. <laughs> Please, if you don't purchase pudding, I'll come to your house. That's it. He just he'll just he'll just come to your house. That's all. Nothing else. I'll come to your house and eat all the pudding that you've oh, no. purchased without paying the one dollar fee. By the way, it's a fee. It's on top of the normal purchase price. <laughs> I'm in the game again. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try and do a different thing. Uh oh. To go and invite friends to game. I want to invite Simon. Did Simon get an invite that time? That's a negative there, Captain. I'm in the main menu too. Do you want to try inviting me? Did Echo get an invite? Hold on. No. Are the servers just down? Let's see. Is there a way we can actually check that? I don't know. Let's see. No runner server status. Well, that's useless. Well, wouldn't this go off of, like, a Steam one? Like some sort of Steam? So oh, I got an invite! Oh. But will it let me in? That's the real question. 
Warning, your NAT type is strict, so you cannot use online features. Connection lost. What? My NAT, NAT is strict? What? What does NAT stand for? Network something? That sounds familiar. NAT networking. Network address translation. Your, yeah, it says here, network... Your NAT type is strict, so you cannot use online features. Please check your NAT settings and try again. Echo, are you still in the main menu? I am, yes. Send you invite. Did you come through? Mm, nope. Press spamming it. I'm going to crash their fucking servers. Cool, great. I love how it's not even letting us fucking play. <laughs> it's not even sending invites. Also, no, it doesn't use Steam, Simon, because you can't invite people over Steam in this. Ah. And also, again, it does the weird thing where it shows people on your banned list. Your blocked list. I'm going to try one final thing. This is going to be a wild shot in the dark. I'm going to stop streaming. Uh, oh, okay. Because I'm, I'm seeing... Here's the thing. I'm seeing a tiny, minuscule amount of dropped frames that slowly is ticking up randomly. So I'll be right back stream if it does cut out. <laughs> 